Hey everybody, so listen, you have to hear this. Today we are going to look at some modal verbs. And we're going to look at modal verbs which are used for obligation and necessity. The verbs which we are going to look at are must and have to. We can use must and have to in a positive way or in a negative way to express obligation to do something or the necessity to do something. For example, if it is a rule. If you look at the chart which I have drawn behind me on the board, in a positive sentence we use must, you must learn English, for example. In the negative form we use must not, most commonly used for rules. Passengers must not use their telephone during takeoff and landing on an aeroplane, for example. We can also use have or has to in a similar way for obligation. Students have to study three times per week. My mum has to be at work at 9am every day. This is obligation. It is necessary that these things happen. We can use it in a negative way as well, using the auxiliary verb do. Here, don't or doesn't, depending on the subject. You don't have to come to school tomorrow. She doesn't need to improve her English. These express negative obligation. It is something which is not necessary. So if it is necessary, we use must or have or has to. If it is not necessary or if it is against the rules, we use must not or don't or doesn't have to. I hope this has been useful. You must understand that learning English is difficult. You have to learn grammar. You have to try speaking and you must improve your vocabulary. But you don't have to worry because you have a wonderful teacher waiting for you here. Me. <laughs> Speak to you soon, guys.